心。啊，他给手势。Live from Shenzhen in southern China, you're watching Chinese Volleyball League All Star Game. My name is Shang Yao. My name is Wang Jingyu. Well, after the first of four season, this new era for CVL, Chinese Volleyball League, we're delighted to be taking our game global. With this year, a U-Best Chinese Volleyball League All-Star Game being broadcast live to more than 43 countries and being streamed live around the world on more than 20 online platforms. In particular, I'd like to welcome our viewers from Fox Sports Asia and SBS Australia, who are joining us in 2018 for the very first time. Welcome. Chinese pop singer Chen Si is giving a warm-up performance as we are heading into the very exciting game tonight with um, four different teams from the northern part and southern part here. You're going to see the most famous Chinese volleyball players uh, gathering here for a very fun game. Yeah. Uh, beautiful sound by Chen Si. A uh, very exciting performance by pop singer Chen Si here. We're live in Shenzhen, southern China. Uh, in a few minutes, there will be an exciting all-star game. Next will be the opening show. Yeah. A countdown. For the milestones in Chinese Volleyball Super League.
So the Chinese Volleyball League was founded in 1996 and it has developed for over 20 years. But, uh, it is the first year that, that the league um, developed into the Super League and the teams were increased and the games were also increased a lot of more. Um, the arena, the promoters arena were, are trying their best to make the league more exciting. Now this is a short video clip showing the list of uh, events. Uh, introdu uh, introdu introduction of the, um, the Super League. Yeah. So starting from this season, it's called the Chinese Volleyball Super League. Yeah. So in March, and uh, we witnessed the winner of the Chinese Volleyball League for the women's side, where uh, Tianjin, yeah. a dominant team in China, has just won the champion. And the men's finals are still going on with Shanghai playing Beijing. Shanghai leading 2-1 to to in the best of seven series. So this is in Shenzhen, Bao'an Stadium here in southern China. Uh, the second time China is host, hosting this uh, all-star game. Uh, and uh, this year, particularly, we're having uh, the skills contest as part of the All-Star Weekend. And some of those players who got the, the winner this morning will also be joining tonight's game. Yeah, and also yesterday, the, uh, the superstars from the Chinese Volleyball League met the fans. And they did some uh, interesting game together, and they, they shared their views about volleyball, and fans asked questions to the, to the idols. So pretty much all the famous players from China, in terms of volleyball, uh, will we'll be here tonight. And yeah. famous coaches, players, um, some of those have been in Olympic you know, games, the World Cup champions. Um, it's really the best opportunity for us to bring this this uh, exciting game to our global viewers. Uh, a short introduction of the rules for tonight's uh, game. And, uh, and this game is a little bit different from the, right. the, the, the normal game we, uh, we see. So it's going to be four sets. Four sets, yeah. And 20 minutes for each set. In the first two sets, the southern men's team will play against the, the south, south uh, the northern men's team. And in the third and fourth set, the the men's uh, the men's team all star team from north will play the the women's. Uh, all-star game from the South. So in terms of the women's competition and, and also both, both women's and men's competition, there will be the Northern team playing the Southern team. And, uh, and some of those players are from Chinese famous volleyball clubs across China. I mean, in the Chinese Volleyball League, there are 14 teams. And also for the men's team. Yeah, 14 for women and 14 for men. Right. Now there will be a short video clip introducing some of the players. These are the highlights of um, players from the Chinese Volleyball League uh, playing in their season. The inaugural season of Chinese Volleyball Super League. Yes, starting from this year, it's called the Chinese Volleyball Super League. So the first two sets will be played by uh, the northern men's team and the southern men's team. Yeah, by the men's all-star players. And the next, the, the third and fourth sets will be played by the women's all-star players. And each set will only last for 20 minutes. Yeah, right. Uh, when the minutes are finished, then the game will be over. A hip hop dance now um, ahead of the All Star game.
was a hip hop dance. Um, exciting performance. And uh, now you're watching Chinese Volleyball Super League All-Star Game live in Shenzhen, Southern China. And uh, tonight's game will be four sets, and each set will last 20 minutes. And uh, so the first two sets have, are played by two teams, the Northern men's team and the, um, the Southern men's team. And then the next two sets will be played by women's uh, Northern team and, and Southern team. So the All-Star players will be introduced in a few minutes. And uh, tonight is the... Um, the final All-Star game here in the All-Star weekend. And just now we can we can see the fans. They are uh, they can't wait to see the exciting game. So right now we will be playing a video clip to know all the All-Star games, All-Star players, sorry, and uh, see who they are. That is Li Yingying. Uh, that is Ding Xia. Uh, that... The All Stars were voted by Chinese fans, and Miss Ding Xia received the most votes from the fans. So these All Star players are mostly from the Chinese Volleyball League uh, club. Uh, 14 teams in total in China. And then uh, some of them have been to different Olympic games, and some are Olympic champions. And in the Chinese Volleyball League, the Ken Jin is the most successful women's team uh, who have uh, claimed titles in um, 11 times. And the Shanghai, Team Shanghai, is the most successful men's team. And they, uh, they have already uh, captured 13 titles in the Chinese Volleyball League. We even got some foreign players, uh, very famous ones, uh, here are playing in Chinese League. Yeah, so in the last few seasons. We'll also be introducing them to you. In the last few seasons, more and more international players are coming to the Chinese League. In the next few minutes, we will see Kim Yong Kyung from Korea and also Kevin Tilly from uh, France. France. So, 56 players in total are joining uh, this year's All Star game. So that's a short video clip introducing some of the all-star players playing tonight. And uh, you're watching Chinese Super Volleyball Super League All-Star Game. We're live here in Shenzhen. A big star is now here in the stadium. Yeah, the Ms. former Hui captain Ruo of Qi. yeah, Miss Hui Rochi, former captain of the Chinese women's national team. And she I will be a co MC of this top nice game. Yeah, she will be guest hosting tonight, and uh, Hui got very popular after the real game. And uh, she has a, a large fan base in China. So uh, that is Mr. Zhang Bin, host for tonight's game. From CCTV. And this is Hui Ruoqi. Hui uh, says hello to the fans. The absolute star in Chinese volleyball, Hui Ruoqi. And uh, she just got retired. And tonight, uh, Mr. Zhang Bin and Hui Ruoqi will be hosting the game. They're now greeting uh, fans in the stadium. And he's just saying that we want to bring the game to a whole new level. Yeah, and the promoters would like to make the Chinese Volleyball Super League one of the best leagues in the world. 
Wade saying it's her second time here in the All-Star game here. And she's also talking about uh, the name changing for the yeah, league. Right. This year, it's called Chinese Volleyball Super League. I think she's doing a good job as far as hosting. Yeah, right. Probably one of the tallest female hosts yeah, on TV. A close shot of Miss Hui Ruoqi. A lot of her fans are tonight, uh, here tonight watching her. Now, give it yeah. up for Miss Hui Ruoqi. Yeah, Miss Hui. She really contributes a lot to the success of the Chinese women's volleyball team, especially at the Rio Games. And she was also playing the Tianjin Games. Um, yes. The, the national, the, the Tianjin National Games. Yeah, national games in, in Tianjin last year. Yes. And I was there in Tianjin, and I saw how her fans got so crazy when she's entering the stadium or anywhere. And a lot of people are just following her, and uh, now she has really become a role model yeah. for a lot of uh, young people in China. She has uh, overcome a lot of difficulties to become an Olympic champion. In 2015, she was selected to the national team to play for the Women's World Cup. But uh, about one month before the competition, um, she, they, they found out that she got a problem with her heart. So she needs an operation. She has to skip the World Cup. And then she took the operation and come back. And she recovered soon enough and uh, well enough to to go to the Rio Olympic Games and did a great job in helping China claim the title. I just want to remind our viewers why we're, we're mentioning the Rio Olympic Games so many times. That's the year where, uh, you know, the whole, the fans in China, volleyball fans are, are, are so excited when they are entering, to, uh, when they got to the final and uh, finally, you know, brought up the medal, gold medal home. Um, it, it, it's, it's an exciting night. Uh, people are just watching, uh, staying home, watching the game, you know, uh, holding their pre uh, the, the, the breath for the players on the court. Um, it's just unforgettable. That experience is really big in the terms of Chinese volleyball going forward. Yeah. Actually, I think the real Olympic game is a kind of a third wave for the Chinese volleyball. Because as we know that uh, in, in the 1980s, the Chinese women's team has, um, they, they got five consecutive titles in world um, competitions. And then in 20, 2003 and 2004, the Chinese team, on, under the guidance of Mr. Chen Zhonghe, they took the World Cup and um, Athens Olympic Games. And then the, the, uh, Miss Lam Ping, after she came back to take the helm of the Chinese national team, she took, took Team China to win back-to-back -back titles in the World uh, 2015 and 2016. Now, right now, the, uh, the men's team uh, entering the stadium. Liu Meng from Shandong. Ma Xiaoteng from... Jing Hui playing for Beijing. Beijing. Cui Xiao. Cui Xiao. From Shandong. Li Yuanbo from Henan. Liang Chunlong. Liang Chunlong is currently playing for Beijing. Fu Jiafeng. Fu Jiafeng, a middle blocker from Beijing. Tang Chunhang. Tang Chunhang is a, from Baiyi. Zhang Binglong playing for Beijing and, and Mao Tianyi playing for Ba Yi. Now the Northern team women's players. Northern women's all-star team are coming. Miss Ding Xia, the top ball getter. Yuan Xi also from the national team and also uh, Olympic champion. Right. 
Song Chun Lake is currently playing for Beijing. Yao Di from Tianjin. Wang Yuanyuan also from Tianjin. Gao Yi is playing for uh, Beijing starting from this season. Sun Fang is from northeastern China's Liaoning. Playing for Shandong, eastern part of China. Wang Mengjie is from Shandong. Gong Meizi. Gong Meizi is currently playing for Liaoning. Hu Mingyuan. Hu Mingyuan playing for Liaoning. Liu Xiaotong. Olympic champion Liu Xiaotong. A big star. Liu Yanhan playing for Ba Yi Shenzhen. Li Ying, a promising star here in China, playing for Tianjin. So I just helped the Tianjin team uh, claim their 11th title in the Chinese Volleyball League. So that's the, the all-star players from the northern team. They're going to greet the fans now, and uh, we also see some foreign players uh, yeah, we can see Kevin Tilly up front. Tilly up front. Uh, they're out their slogan here. Uh, they're shouting out their slogan here. Northern team, go! Northern team, go! So in northern part, Liaoning, Beijing are both very strong games, right? Yeah, especially in the women's. Liaoning, Beijing are both very strong games, right? Yeah, especially in the women's. And also Tianjin. Tianjin is a city with a very good volleyball tradition. They just won the champion in the past season. And, uh, uh, you know, the finals were concluded of in uh, a week or two weeks ago? Tian, Tianjin beat Shanghai 4-2-3. Just the, the, the first season that uh, the, the finals of the Chinese Volleyball League adopt a best of seven series and uh, they play to the last game. Now that's Zhang Chen from Southern Team. Zhang Chen from Jiangsu. Wang Zhiru. Miu Ren Tong is playing for uh, Hubei in Central China. Zhang Guojun, who also played in the skills contest this morning. Yu Yuan Tai. And uh, from, for Jiangsu, Chen Jiajie from Guangdong. Hong Jiahua playing for Shanghai. Li Yongzhen. Li Yongzhen is now playing for Zhejiang. Du Hai Xiang from the team Sichuan, who also got uh, participating in the skills contact this morning. Wu Hao is playing for Zhejiang. Dai Qingyao is now um, playing for Shanghai. Zhang Zhejiao, very young player, playing for Shanghai, a middle blocker. Now here comes the uh, Southern Women's All-Star Team. Zheng Yixin. From Fujian. Wow, wow, definitely star. Jin Kim. Kim Yong Kim. From South Korea. Ma Yunwen is middle blocker from Shanghai. Lin Li playing for Fujian. Chen Zhan. Diao Lin Yu. Diao Lin Yu playing for Jiangsu. Mi Yang. Mi Yang is Zhang Lei. Shanghai this season, yeah. Zhang Yi Chan. Zhang Yi Chan. Li Jing. Li Jing from Zhejiang. And uh, also uh, Liu Mengya. played in the national team. Yang Zhou. 
Liu Mengya playing for Yunnan, Yang Zhou playing for Zhejiang, Zhang Xiaoya, Zhang Xiaoya playing for Sichuan. Gong Xiangyu, a big star, a great friend of Hui Ruoqi, and she is playing for Jiangsu, and she is the real Olympic champion. So right now, all the all-star players are on the court, and we have the northern team and the southern team. So each team will shout out, shout out their slogan. They're gonna take a photo first. Heart shape. <laughs> so the All Star Game is not only a party for the fans, but also a party for the players. <laughs> Nanfang, Nanfang, that's the Chinese version of speaking Southern team. Uh, we're the most beautiful ones, we're, most, we're the most handsome ones. And we're gonna play strong in today's game. Now here are the head coaches for each team. Mr. Li Mu, head coach of Beijing. Mr. Chen Youquan from Tianjin, and now and tonight he's the coach of no, uh, he's the coach of Northern oh, Women's All Star Team. Now, Mr. Shen Chong, a former Chinese international, and now the head coach of the of Team Shanghai. Mr. Wang Zhiteng, the head coach of Shanghai women's team. And he will be coaching for the women's team in the... In All-Star game, yeah. Again, the hosts are just reminding the fans about uh, this season, the 2017 to 2018 season, where Tianjin already got the champion, uh, you know, uh, one or two weeks ago. Now the men's team are still playing. So Mr. Shen Chong shake hands with Mr. Li Mu. Their team will fight for the championship of the men's title after the All-Star weekend. So these are the two head coaches for the two finalists in the yeah, Chinese right. Volleyball League for okay. men's side. We we'll just do our best, Mr. Shen Chong said. Yeah, the ladies game will be on the 17th. I hope we'll do our best and I hope we will have a very um, exciting game. Uh, we are looking forward to an exciting game. And that's why the promoters arena are bringing us the uh, All-Star game for the second consecutive season. Right. And uh, to our left is Miss Hui Ruoqi, former Olympic champion from the Chinese volleyball team. And she is guest hosting tonight with Mr. Zhang Bin, uh, 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 also a famous uh, sports uh, commentator in Chinese television. We're going to have an official announcing. Mr. Li Quanqiang, Deputy President of Chinese Volleyball Association. So, guys, we're live in Shenzhen. Opens, yeah. yeah. We're live again in Shenzhen. This is the All Star Game uh, for Chinese Volleyball Super League. Now the national anthem.
the national anthem uh, the Chinese national anthem just now and uh, the all-star game will be in any minute so the first two sets are between the men's uh, team from the men's southern team and men's, yeah, men's southern, uh, northern, team. northern team so the players, the all stars, will get ready for the game. Now, Kim will be uh, just was asked to stay on the court to say a few words, maybe. And she's definitely um, an absolute star in, in volleyball, even, you know, on the global stage. And also there will be an interpreter uh, accompanying Kim for this interview. Kim has played in a different uh, leagues in a lot of countries. Now we want to know how she thinks about the Chinese Volleyball League and how does she like about it. I cannot translate it for now. This is Korean. <laughs> Let's wait to um, what the interpreter will tell us about Kim's thoughts on Chinese volleyball. I'm excited to be here, said, said Kim. Thank you for the sponsors. And thanks for this great opportunity for our fans to be here. Uh, this is, John is being joking about uh, talking about Kim's, Kim's contract. Future, yeah, yeah, Kim's contract. It is the first season that Kim plays in the Chinese league, and a lot of uh, clubs are in interested in we know getting her. She, yeah, and we want to know whether she still will be here for next season. Let's see where she's at. So how many years has she played in Chinese Volleyball League? The first year. First year. Yeah, with Shanghai. That's a difficult question, and she'll think about it, and I'll make the decision. <laughs> there is no very clear answer from her, but we really would definitely want her to stay as long as, as possible. But she said uh, in, in interviews before she want to be part participating in the next Olympic game. And we can see that the players and uh, the, the fans are really interested in, in her future. Because yeah. yesterday, the, the fans also asked the same question to Kim. Kim just said thank you in Chinese, and she played in Japan and in, and in Turkey, and uh, now uh, this is her first year in the Chinese league. And she helped the ch team Shanghai uh, win the runners-up in the, uh, the inaugural season of the Chinese Volleyball Super League. Yeah, so Shanghai is also dom uh, you know, one of the best strongest teams in, yeah, best teams in the Chinese Volleyball League. Kim has, has brought different, uh, you know, um, different uh, kind of plays into the Shanghai team. And uh, Shanghai was the runner up, as you just mentioned uh, there, and Tianjin was the champion. And a lot of those players are also playing for today's All Star game. A special ceremony by 10 children, 12 of them holding a volleyball in their hands and coming out now to the stadium, representing 12, 12 years, 12 teams. Because uh, now we have 14 teams from the 12. They will, they will be walking 
on the court. Um, just now, Hui also mentioned that uh, King's Coming has helped uh, the team uh, play players in Shanghai a lot because the players learn a lot from the um, such an international international all star like that like King. Mm -hmm. And the sports get um, more and more international, and uh, um, it's, it's very important for a league to be international to improve their level. And that's why Arena are trying to introduce this all-star game and also to make this league more and more international. That's the vice mayor of Shenzhen. Official from Bao ba An District in Shenzhen, where the All Star is being held, and also sports official Mr. Deng. Oh, we see someone. Guess who wow. we're seeing now? Jenny Lang. Jenny Lang. You hear the crowd getting crazy. That's they're giving it up to Miss Lao King, Jenny Lao, definitely star, great coach in China. It was, was nicknamed the Iron Hammer for strong spikes when when she was a player. Wow. So these 12 children will serve the ball, uh, kind of like a special way to start our game tonight. Wearing a white dress is beautifully elegant standing here. 12 children will serve the ball to start our all-star game here. Officials and uh, sports officials, company officials here are accompanying those children and see how they will start the game tonight. A countdown. How did that go? That will help us, that will lead us into the All-Star game here tonight. It's an easy job for Jenny Nanping, who has served hundreds of thousands sometimes. Uh, yeah, of course. And uh, she was a, a great uh, player, and now she's she's been a great coach, yeah, leading sure. our team in you know getting the victory in Rio, and also um, still going strong. Now here comes the players tonight. I hope you're all enjoying our 2018 U.S. Chinese Volleyball League All-Star Game. And this year, the game is being broadcast live to more than 43 countries around the world. And especially, uh, we would like to welcome our viewers from Fox Sports Asia and SBS Australia for joining us in 2018 for the very first time. That's the red race. Mr. Wang Jun, the first referee. Secondary referee. These are also star referees, right? Yeah. So the first two sets are between the men's and uh, the men's southern and the um, northern team. Right. That's Tilly, Kevin Tilly here on the screen. Uh, a great player here playing in... Uh, here in Beijing. Beijing. You're seeing uh, that's... Um, that's the team here from... Um, Tilly was born in a sports family and his father um, has been the national coach of, of France. Mm -hmm. And his elder brother and mother were also Olympian. So the team in blue is from the northern team. Right. And the team in yellow is from the southern team.
the starting lineup. Number two, Cui Xiao is a middle blocker. Number three, Mao Tianyi, a setter. Ji Dao Shui, number eight, spiker. Number 11, Jiang Chuan, opposite Peter, and playing for Beijing. Number 17, Ding Hui, a liberal. Number 20, Zhang Binglong, playing for Beijing. 21, Li Yuanbo, middle blocker from central China's Henan. That's the starting lineup for the northern team. Here comes the southern team. Dai Qingyao, number one. Number three, Zhang Jingyin, playing for Zhejiang, the spiker. Miu Ranzhou, middle blocker, playing for Hubei. Number six, Zhang Chen, spiker, uh, playing for Jiangsu. Number eight, Tong Jiahua, liberal, playing for Shanghai. Number nine, Mr. Zhang Guojun, who also got uh, participating in today's skills contest. And number 11, Yao Shu Han. So in this ball star game, it's the first time that, uh, that we introduce the uh, introduction of serve threes. So we can't wait to see how how fast the, the all star players serve. The Again, the blue team, light blue, is team, the northern team, and the yellow team are southern team here. Each set will last 20 minutes, and then after 20 minutes are done, the game will be over. After two sets, that will come to the women's competition, also northern team and southern team here. Fans are getting fired up, and uh, the second time we're having an all-star game here in China. Hands up, hands up. Number 11, Jiang Chuan. And we see uh, the, in the standing, starting lineup in the southern team, we see Zhan Guojun, number nine. Now here comes Jing, Jing Hui, number 17. And uh, Mr. Jiang Chuan was the winner of the spiking contest this morning. Right. Well, here comes the first set. So That's the first Jing set Hui. will last 20 minutes. Yes. And the team scoring more points. Let's see who will be serving number eight. Ji Dao Shui, a spiker, playing for Shandong. And Ji Dao Shui will be serving. Wow. A well-placed job shot. Southern team are getting ahead with one point. That's number three. Zhang Jingyin, a spiker, playing for Zhejiang. It's out of uh, uh, bounds. So it's a tie now. So the All-Stars need some time to get used to the atmosphere of this exciting All-Star game. Great spot. That's that's a very good spike by Miao Rantong. Now Dai Qingyao served the ball. Out of bound. So it's 2-2 in the first set. Between 
the all-star men's team from south and north of China. Wow. So the southern team gets another point. Jiang Chuan made a really good serve, but uh, the southern team uh, made good use of the Back row attack from number eight, Miss Ji Dao Shuai. Number 20, Zhang Binglong. will be serving the ball. Without a bound. 4 3, the southern team is leading by one. It's Miao Rantong, 23 years old, and uh, a middle blocker from right. Full Bay. Great blocking. So middle block, Li Yuanbo scored one more point for the Northern team. Now Li Yuanbo will be serving, and he is 23 years old. Wow. Wow. Monster block by Zhang Chen. Uh, A lucky serve, yeah, an ace. Zhang Chen. This is Zhang Chen, and her sister is Zhang Changning. Northern team leading 6 to 4. Oh, narrowly know. missed. Right. Almost another ace. That was ace. by Li Yuanbo. Oh, Zhang Guojin will be serving from the southern team. Zhang Guojin, 30 years old, and who also uh, participated in this morning's skills contest. The speed of Zhang's serve was wow. 99 kilometers per second. Dinghui setting. Wow! wow. Jiang Chuan, a smash by Jiang Chuan, one of the best Chinese players and Chinese international. Miao is now on the bench now, and here comes Jiang Guojun again, serving the ball from the southern team. And he's really a good spiker. And a good server. A winner That's of the serving contest this morning. Yeah. That's a smart move from, uh, from the northern team. Mao Tianyi. The two teams extend point by point. Eight six. And Northern is leading by two. Fans are cheering up for Southern team and uh, the Southern is catching up and now it's 8-7. Rao Shuhan had a Rao Shu Han had a very good spike now serving is Zhang Chen and uh, her sister is Zhang Changning uh, played for the national team an Olympic champion Great block from the southern team Very good defense by the southern team It's tie now 
Eight so to the, eight. Yeah, so the set will be only for 20 minutes. Yeah, last for 20 minutes. And the team scoring more points will win the set. Yeah, Zhang Chen will be serving again. Great save. Yeah, great digging save. Unfortunately, that's out of bounds, and uh, that was from... Hong Jiahua. Here comes the Ji Dao Shui. Mr. Ji Dao Shui is a spiker. Yeah. Tied again, nine. Scoring by blocking, that's from the southern team. Cheering for the northern team, and uh, fans are shouting out here for the northern team. It's pretty close game. Another team could pull away. Ding Hui set the ball. Big spike. A good try by Chui Xiao. Middle blocker. So, Chui Xiao is serving now. Yep. That's a quick spike by Miao Ran Tong. A very good combination. Miao Ran Tong is number four. A middle block from Hubei. Yep. And here comes Dai Qing Yao, 27 years old, and uh, he will be serving for the southern team now. Beautiful from the northern team. Score again Zhang by Bing Long. Long. Zhang Bing Long, a young player. That was from Jiang Chuan. So the Southern gets another one. Oh, that's Kevin Tilly playing for the Northern team from France. A now, big star here in Chinese Volleyball League. Yeah, just now we got to serve. The speed of the serve is 117 kilometers per hour. Wow. The fastest serve so far in this game. This is turning into a long rally? Wow, really? Wow. <laughs> Quick reaction by the Southern team. <laughs> Number nine, <laughs> Zhang Guojun. Zhang Chen, um, the a mistake, ball, yeah. The ball is out. Yeah, and, he uh, dropped the ball out. So now it's 13 11. The Southern is leading by 13-12. Uh, the Southern team is leading by only one point. And here comes Zhang Binglong, a young player and uh, 24 years old. Wow. Nice serve. 105 <laughs> kilometers per hour. Ace, producing an ace by... <laughs> Zhang Binglong is serving again. Right. Fans are shouting ace uh, in the crowd. Beautiful play. Miao Ran Tong again. Jiang Chuan. Jiang Chuan scored. A well placed shot by Jiang Chuan. 
And winning again, 14-14. Yeah, it's tied again. Okay, now timeout here. So in China, I mean, the, the women's teams are um, I mean, a little more famous than the, the men's teams. Yeah, the women's players receive more attention yeah. than the men's team. But actually, uh, I think the, the men's team, the men's side are really getting um, Getting improved, and the game is, uh, and this year especially, as you said, the national team of the men's side are having the first to foreign coach. Yeah. We wanted to really be qualified into the next Olympic game. This is Lozano from uh, Argentina. He's trying to lead the team to qualify for the Tokyo Olympic Games. Now, after a short timeout, and here comes still the first set here, and in the first part of today's All-Star game, the men's northern team playing the southern team, and uh, here the blue, wearing blue are the northern team. Here serves 21 Li Yuanbo. Jiang Chan again. Jiang Chan, a very powerful spike by Jiang Chan, 11. Number 11 from the Northern and the, team. And Northern team overtaking the lead, 15 14. That's still a one point game. Right, and uh, Li Yuanbo serving again. Li Yuanbo is the middle blocker uh, playing for Fenon. <laughs> Zhang Chen soon answered the with the kill. 15 15. Right. Here is Zhang Guojun. Jumping serve. 106 kilometers per hour. Wow. Northern team has been leading, but with only a one point. Very smart shot. That was two points lead. First time the Northern team got two point lead. Yeah. One point directly for the Southern team with a very beautiful, uh, with a not successful serve from the Northern part. Here comes Zhang Chen serving for the Southern team. Wow, very good combination. Between Cui Xiao and Mao Tianyi. And the Southern is, is, is changing players now. Yeah. So here comes numbered um, 21, 21. Mr. Yuan Tai replaced the Zhang Chen. Very good save. Zero chances here. Wow. wow. 21, Yuan Yuan. Yu Yuantai, who just got onto the court and had a great save for the Southern team. This turning to a long rally now. Wow. So the Northern, Northern team got another point. And it, I think that's so far the biggest lead by, the, right. by the Northern team, three points. Biggest gap, yeah, three points. One hundred and two kilometers per hour. Uh, that was uh, the serving by Ji Dao Shui.
An A, surprisingly. Libero Ding Hui would fail to receive the... It's one point game again. Great block finally by Miao Ran Tong from the southern team. So it's tie again. And Miao Ran Tong is the best blocker in the Chinese men's volleyball league. Standing at uh, 2 meet and 0 3, Miao Ran Tong scored 97 points by blocking this season. Still there, and Southern team is grabbing every chance. Wow. wow. Zhang Binglong scored one more point for the Northern team. So it's 2019, leading by the Northern team. So now we have number 16 for the Northern team, Liang Chunlong. And uh, he's a middle blocker, currently playing for Beijing. Now he will be serving. Uh, Liang is 30 years old. And... Uh, a former Chinese international. Right. Very powerful spike from the southern team. 20-20. Uh, tied again. First set is tied again. That was from number three, Zhang Jingyin, playing for Zhejiang, a great spiker. As the head coach. Li Yuanbo, 21. Dai Qingyao is, is, is out now. Number 13, Wu Hao, will be on the court for the northern team. Southern team, sorry. That's Mr. Wu Hao. And uh, he's from a Chinese volleyball family. Beautiful. Miao Ran Tong again. That's the end of the first set. So it's 21 21. It's tied. So what do you the, result, the, the, the result will be decided in the second set. Okay, so what's your take so far but, uh, for the game? Uh, I think the, the players are, are doing a very good job, but they need some time to, to play better. Uh, so in the Chinese Volleyball League, in the men's side, there are also 14 teams, and uh, um, the northern team and the southern team now. And uh, so um, which club has won the most the titles so far in the, in the Chinese Volleyball League in terms of men's teams? In terms of men's, Shanghai. They, they got 13 titles. 13 titles for the Shanghai team, and in, in today's All-Star game, we're also having a lot of uh, players are from Shanghai. Zhang Guojun, Dai Qingyao. They're all from Shanghai and uh, Tong Jiahua, Libro. That's number eight from the southern team. So that was the end of the first set here between the men's northern team all-star players and the men's Southern team here and tied at 21. So it's the second consecutive season of the Chinese Volleyball League is, is, hold, is holding an all-star game. A, different, a little bit different from the, the first year. In the first year, uh, the men's players and the women's players are playing together as a mixed team. But this time, the men's, men's team versus men's team and women's team versus women's team.
And in total, there are 56 players, All-Star players here uh, for this year's All-Star event. So I hope you all are enjoying our 2018 U Best Chinese Volleyball All-Star Game. And this year, the game is being broadcast live to more than 43 countries around the world. And we also like to welcome our viewers, especially this year, uh, from Fox Sports Asia and SBS Australia, who are joining us in 2018 for the very first time. This is live in Shenzhen, Southern China, Chinese All-Star Game from Chinese Volleyball Leagues. And that was just the first set here finished with a tie at 21 points by each side and the team the team in blue is the northern men's all-star team team in yellow is the southern team now here comes the second set Second set. So Liang Chunlong, number 16, uh, will be one of the middle blockers and number six uh, from the northern team. Tang Chuan Hang. Now serving the ball from the southern team is Zhang Jingyin. Ding Hui setting the ball, let's see. Well, wow, that's a very quick move from the southern team. Number nine, <laughs> Zhang Guojun. So 22-21 now. <laughs> Fans are cheering for the northern team again. Team Northern. Zhong Weijun was spiking. Very powerful block from the northern team, but the ball gets out of bounds. So here the southern gets another point. 23-21. Here is the second set here. Beautiful play. The northern team, number eight. Yeah, I think, and I think their players are, are in better form this set. After the warm up in the first set, they're playing better and better. You're getting the rhythm now. Yeah. Liang Chunlong be serving for Northern team. Really good block. Yeah. Uh, so the number 10 from the southern team is liberal Chen Jiajie. Yang Chunlong serving again for the northern team. So the south gets one point. Here comes Liang will get off the court. So the game is really close, and the biggest gap is three points yep. so far. Wow. Northern is coming back. Tie again. 24. 24, 24. That was from number six, Tang Chuan Hang. Tang Chuan Hang will be serving.
great block. Zhong Weijun in Northern Team, number seven, Zhong Weijun. Yeah. Wow. So the serve was out, but the speed was 101 kilometers per hour. Wow. So the fastest serve so far was made by uh, let me see, it's one in one hundred one hundred and seventy. One hundred seventy. Uh, one hundred seventeen. Yeah, right. Miao mm -hmm. Rantong playing really good. That's the head coach for the Southern team. Beautiful, Miao Rantong again. One point, yeah. one Miao point. did a lot of a great spike today. Great spike and also blocking. That's Ding Kui playing for the Northern team. A timeout for the Northern team. A two point lead by the Southern team. The Mr. Team. Yeah, Mr. Shen Chong is giving some instructions to his players. So the head coach Shen Chong, and he is a former player for the Chinese national team. That's the northern team head coach there, and uh, it's a tight game tonight. Oh, so it's an all-star game here. And, uh, we're, we're in the second set here played between the Northern men's all-star team and the Southern men's all-star team. Here, here, here comes the set again. Miao Rantong did a lot of great spikes today for the Southern team. Nice. Ji Dao Shui from the Northern team, number eight. Serve is out, and so the Southern gets another point. It's 28 26. The Southern team is leading by only two points. So Liu Yanbo from the northern team gets off. And number 11 from the southern is also getting off. And here comes Li Yongzhen for the southern team. And uh, Li Yongzhen is... Miao Rantong is serving again. Yes. Li Yongzhen is number 18 from the southern team. A fantastic back row attack from by Zheng, Zhong Weijun. Zhong, Zhong Weijun. Yeah. Zhong Weijun, he helped the Bai team claim the title in the Chinese national games last year in Tianjin. Bai team, Bai. Yeah. Southern is getting great. So it's number three, Zhang Jingyin. Zhang Jingyin. Two points lead by Southern team. That's Liang Chenlong from the North team. Fans are cheering up again for the North team here. Very powerful serve by the Southern team. That, again, they're getting another point is 30, 27. Also, the biggest gap here, three point speed by Southern. The block height is 2.91 meters. Here comes Zhang Guojun. He made a great serve just now. Yeah, a lot of beautiful service from him tonight. Wow. 
110 wow. kilometers per hour by Zhang Guojun. Four point lead by the southern team. So far, the biggest gap. That's the libero from the southern team, Ding Hui. 110 kilometers per hour. That's the serve speed. Now, number 18, and Kevin Tilly is on. Is yeah, on the court for the northern team. For the first time, Kevin Tilly from France. A big star. Zhang Guojun serving again for the south team. He Another really had age. a lot of beautiful wow. Wow. serves. Zhang Guojun again. 31 27. 32 27. Five point lead by the southern team. The head coach is definitely smiling out there. Yeah. That is my satisfied with their players' Zhang 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 performance yeah. tonight. Zhang Guojun produced a, a two consecutive aces for the southern team. Yes, and Zhang Guojun will one. be serving again. Another smart play. So six point lead for the Southern team. It looks that the Southern team is going to win this. Yeah, to win this set. Because each set will only last for 20 minutes. Yeah, right. And I think we're getting close to the end of the second set here. Jiang Guojun serving again. It's also 107 wow. kilometers per hour, but this time, the Northern team get a one held point. down, yeah. That's from... Liu Meng, a setter, will be on for the Northern team. And also, in a, Zhang Guojun will be off the court, and... Uh, here comes Wang Jiru for the Southern team. Yeah, Coach Shen Tong would like to have yeah, Zhang Guojun have some, to take some rest. Very strong spike by Kevin Tilly. Right? Kevin Tilly, yeah. That is Ji Dao Shui. Ji Dao Shui is a beautiful spike. Now Ji Dao Shui will be serving. Four-point lead by the southern team. A beautiful serve by Ji Dao Shui. Let's see how the southern team is setting the ball. Again, the north is saving. Nice. Two points in a row for the north team. And now the lead, the gap, is three again. Nine minutes to go before the end of the second set. Serve is out. The South get one point and uh, will be 34 30. So less than nine minutes to go. Zhang Jingyin serving the ball from the South team. And the Kevin Tilly. Is out. So the South gets another point. 35 30. Five point lead by the South team. Zhang Jingyin serving again. Ding Hui. Tilly. Zhang Jingyin. Ding Hui. And from Ji Dao Shui again, Dao number eight. Another back row attack. For the southern, for the northern team within 35, 31. Seven points and a half to go. Seven minutes and a half to go before the end of the second set. Now Zhang Jingyin is out. Du Haixiang, number 17, will be on the court for the southern team. Kevin Tilly from the northern team now. Um, Liang Chunlong will be serving the ball for the North team. Beautiful play. 
Now Miorenton will be on the court again, uh, replacing number 13. Amira Antong only started to play volleyball in 2010. Only wow. he's played off of only le less than eight years. North gets a point. That's number eight, Ji Daoshui. Saved by Tilly, and let's see who will do this fight. A mistake. Tilly. Chen Jiajie. That's a beautiful block. By Yu Yuantai. Yu Yuantai from the Southern team. He's now playing for Jiangsu, a great spiker. The North gets one point right away, and uh, the the Northern team was training by four points, but Jiang Chuan, their top star, were rested by head coach Li Mu. Yes, Tilly will be serving the ball for the North team. Yeah, that was a turnover. Well placed there. ace, Kevin so Tilly, scoring Kevin Tilly. her his first point in, in the Chinese All Star game. Yes. And he will be serving again, 28-year-old from France and a uh, great star now in China. And he's played in multiple uh, leagues from different countries now. It's the his first... Wow, good um, save by Tilly. Yep. The North two team point is getting game. excited. It's only two point now with only a few minutes to go before the end of the second set here. And Tilly is saving again. That's the head coach for the North team. Oh. North is getting stronger now. Time out by the southern team. Right? So it's only one point now. Okay. One Very point game. game. Time out for the south team there. Yeah, the, the northern team played by six points. They pulled within one, only one point game. I think Tilly is doing a great job, right? Yes, and he did a lot of uh, oh, at least a two beautiful serves there and uh, helping the North team to get catching up now. Right. So now the gap is uh, getting uh, smaller now. It's only a one point game now leading by the North team. Uh, leading by the South team now. Tilly serving again for the North team, and let's see how he will be doing for this time. Smart move for the South team. One point again, 38-36, two-point lead by the South team. Just a quick reminder, uh, we're now live in Shenzhen, in southern China. So it's kind of like the host um, team for the southern team. Yeah, and Shenzhen is also the, the host, uh, plays host to, to Bai team. Yeah, the Bai team, the Bai uh, team. Is, is based in Shenzhen. Zhang Guojun will come, come to the court again for the south team and serving the ball now for the north. Beautiful save, still going on. Nice. Second touch. Two point lead. I think the Southern team doesn't have much time to come yep. up. That's Two point Miao, game. Miao Ran Tong serving for the South team and he's a very good spiker. Beautiful play by Ji Daoshui. He did a pretty good job today. Uh, did a lot of uh, great blocks and then... And, and spikes. Yeah. 
and uh, one point game again. Now North team serving. Nice. A smart job shot. Yeah. 40, 38, the North South team's leading by two points. Now the South team is serving. Nice, very, very quick serve. Very quick move there by Ji Dao Shuai. That's the South team. One point game. Ji Dao Shuai, great spike. Helped his team getting so another point. Make another ace. Let's see. Ji Dao Shuai serving again. 108 kilometers per hour. Wow. wow. Beautiful. It's Thai again. He's good. He's good. Serve. Help team North. Thai again. 40 40. 40. It's Thai again. Let's see. Tilly. Chen Jiajie, number, number 13. Wow. wow. For a long time, the North is now leading with only one point, but it's their, I think it's their first time leading. Now that's the end, end of, of the game. 41-40. Oh a really exciting game. That Wow, that's very dramatic. The, the Northern North team, team is now yeah, the they came from six points down to win the game yes, by one point. The South point. team has been leading for so long, but that was with the last, with the last play. The North has caught up, and then now they are the winner. And Kevin Dilly did a great job in this come, um, come from behind victory yep. for the Northern team. So that's the end of the first part of the All Star game for tonight, and we see a very tight plays from the North team wearing blue shirts and then the Southern team wearing yellow. And the Southern team, the Southern team has been leading for quite a long time and the largest lead, it was six, I think. Most of the time, the, uh, it was one point game, two yeah. point game. But in the very last minute, and the, the North team did some beautiful plays and then they got up and now they won the game the by Southern one team point. in a very good position to win. But, uh, and Mr. Shen Chung smiled. We, we, we still don't saw his smile right. during the game, but uh, uh, the, no the Northern team didn't give up. And he has been a little serious for the whole time, but now finally showed some smiles there from the head coach from the North team. Now here are the, some of the highlights yeah, of today's and, game. And, and I think Mr. G. Daoshan and Kevin Tilly are, are two of the most important players for the Northern team to win the victory. Yes, especially G. Daoshan number eight. He did a lot of beautiful serves and then the great spikes in key moments and stopped the Southern team from scoring. Highlights now uh, from the first two sets. That's the immense competition between the Northern team and the Southern team. And the Northern team won the game with only one point. So right after, we're going to have the women's competition. It's also between the Northern team and the Southern team. And uh, in the women's side, there will be a lot of Olympic, Quite a few Olympic champions. Yeah. So currently, the Chinese league, uh, especially in the men's side, are still playing. It's the best of seven series between um, Team Shanghai, Shanghai and Beijing. And Shanghai uh, leading the series 2-1. Two, two, yes. In the northern part, Shanghai, uh, in the northern part, Beijing is definitely a dominant team uh, in both women's and the men's league. 
And also Team Liaoning, Tianjin are some of the strong teams in the Chinese Volleyball League. And Shanghai, Beijing are two of the most important cities in, in China. Right, and uh, in Chinese um, Volleyball League here, uh, so the women's team, especially the team Tianjin, has won the most titles in the Chinese Volleyball League. And in the men's side, Team Shanghai, uh, is the most decorated one. And also Jiangsu. Yeah, Jiangsu. Uh, Jiangsu was a champion of, uh, for the last season, 2016 to 2017. So, uh, speaking of the very famous players in China, especially the women's side, we have Hui Ruoqi, who is also from guest Jiangsu, hosting tonight. Yeah. yeah, from Jiangsu. She played for Jiangsu. And then we have Zhang Changning, yeah. uh, Gong Xiangyu. Yeah. And Zhang Chani was also voted to be the all-star, but uh, she had a little problem and had a little operation so, uh, to, to miss this all-star game tonight. Now, Matt Kurtz and uh, some pop singers are giving a warm-up performance here for the, for, the, for the crowd here in Shenzhen, Shenzhen Baoan Stadium. So the northern team, 41, southern team, 40. The north got the victory with only one point leading. So we had two sets. Each set lasted for 20 minutes. When the minutes are gone and the, the game will be over, so it's, a, it's kind of a different rule from what we normally see for a volleyball game. So now the women's players are getting ready. Um, there are some big names there. And uh, we will also have the southern team and the north team. That's the, that's the southern team. Right, Miss Ma Yunwen from Shanghai. So the women's all-star players from the southern team are getting ready, and uh, there are some big names among them, uh, former Olympic champions and the big Chinese volleyball stars. And, uh, and uh, we also have Kim from South Korea, a, a, an absolute star in, in volleyball, um, even having a global fan base. This is the Northern team. The Chinese men's volleyball team are, uh, are, are trying to improve and they're, they're trying to make the Olympics for the first time since 2008. But from the, the match just now, we can see that they have great potential. They, the players are really did a good job. Yes, especially like Zhang Guojun and Ji Daoshuai. They're still young players, and they, they're very good spikers. And, uh, yeah, and also Miao Ran Tong, very good middle blockers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Miao Ran Tong did a lot of great blocks there. Here comes the women's all-star players. I see the starting lineup for both sides. Northern team starting lineup. Liu Yanhan, number five from the northern team. Liu Yanhan. Zheng Chunlei, a setter, is currently playing for the Beijing team. Yeah, Zheng Chunlei, opposite players for Beijing. Ding Xia. Ding Xia. Yen Xinye, a big star in Chinese volleyball team, and he played in the national team. Gong Meizi. Gong Meizi, number 15, a liberal, playing for Liaoning. Wang number 17, Wang Yuanyuan. Number 20, Liu Xiaotong, a spiker. That's Number 15. 16. Number 17. Number 18. That's the starting lineup for the southern team. Head coach for the southern team. Mr. Wang Zhiteng. Head coach of Shanghai women's team. 
，下半局的比赛呢即将就要开始，全场有多少人能跟着节拍打节奏？So welcome to the second half of the Chinese Volleyball League All-Star Game in Shenzhen. This King Yongkyung is, got, is about to serve, to make the first serve. King Yongkyung, 30 years old from South Korea, is, uh, and she is now playing for Shanghai, and uh, a very famous player in the ball in volleyball world, a great spiker. Now Kim will be serving for the Southern team. Wow, this, the first point is hard one. Li Jing scored the first point for, for the Southern, southern team. Yeah. King Yong Kyung serving again. She's reportedly reportedly to earn eighty, uh, eight, a lot of money. eight hundred. Yeah, a lot of money. In, <laughs> as he uh, as she plays in Shanghai. Two point lead by the southern team. Two points in a row. Kim is playing for Shanghai, and uh, Shanghai got to the final with uh, Tianjin. They Tianjin. played seven matches till Tianjin won the title, four to three. Gong Xiangyu was spiking, Olympic champion. A mistake three points in a row for the Zen southern team. Lei. Three point lead. Kim yeah. Kim will be serving. Yeah, okay. and Kim is good friend with a lot, uh, quite a few Chinese players. There are so many long rallies in the women's competition. Yeah, it's quite different from the men's, men's, men's game. The pace is really different from the men's side and uh, great block by the northern team and now... Wow. So maybe that's one of the reasons that uh, women's volleyball are more popular than the men's in China. Right? The men's would like to see long rallies like this. After another exciting. long rally. See the southern team gets one point. Time out for the North team. In 2015, uh, in the Women's World Cup, uh, Team Korea was playing against Team China. And Miss Chu Ting, one of the biggest stars of the Chinese women's team, got injured when, when, when she played against Korea. And the next day, Kim went to, the, uh, went to see Chu. Uh, to, to quit her. To... And for the last two seasons, Zhu Ting is uh, playing, uh, Zhu Ting is playing in Turkey, where Kim was playing in the, uh, for, for six seasons. Kim was in Turkey from 2011 to 2016. And it's, it's her first year playing for the Chinese League. Yeah. It's Wang Yuan Yuan. Finally, the northern team gets one point so far from Wang Yuan Yuan. From Tianjin. Liu Yanhan, number five, serving. 25 years old. After Gong Xiangyu's beautiful spike, and uh, the southern team gets another point. I think now it's 5 1, four points lead by the south team. Gong Xiangyu, Zhang Changning, 
and uh, Hui Ruoqi were the key players when Jiangsu won the national national games the women's volleyball competition last year in Tianjin. Xiaotong also an Olympic champion. Wang Yuan Yuan will be serving for this North team. Great block there by, by Zheng Chunlei. Right and North team. Oh, uh, a teamwork by Zheng Chunlei and Yuan Xinyue. Yuan Xinyue is currently uh, considered to be the tallest Chinese women volleyball yeah. player. Standing at uh, two meter and zero one. Wang Yuan Yuan from the North team, Kim, playing currently for Shanghai and is from South Korea, and, and she's now um, at the uh, South All Star team. Wow, King, a great back row spike by King. Kim Yong-kyung Yong -kyung was invited by Miss Ma Yun-wen to play in Shanghai. And Ma Yun-wen told us yesterday that uh, uh, she has long expected Kim to come. Mm -hmm. And only this season. So Ma Yun-wen is number 15 playing for the Southern team. Right. Out. Oh, Li Li. Liberal of the Chinese national team. Zheng Chunlei serving 29 years old. Is a setter and played for the national team and was in London Olympic Games and he, she's now playing for Beijing. Now the team gets another point. Gong far. Zheng Chunlei is serving again. Yeah, 7-5. Seven, the southern team is leading by only two points. Zheng Chunlei is serving. We're expecting okay. a long rally, maybe? Yeah. Wow. So the southern team. A job shot by Li Jing. Yep. Li Jing from the southern team. Scored one more point to make it eight to, oh, eight to, eight to five. five. The southern team leading eight by eight to five. Li Jing Li serving. He's 27 years old, 186 centimeters tall. Wow. Quick combination by Yuan Xinyue. Yuan Xinyue. And Ding Xiang. Now the fans are shouting her name. This morning, Yuan Xinyue won the serving contest of the All Star Weekend. Yes, it's the first time we're having a skills contest uh, in the morning on the uh, All Star Day. And we have the serving, spiking, and setting competition. So some of the players from tonight's um, All-Star game were in that competition. Fans are getting fired up with uh, some of the most famous Chinese volleyball players here on the court playing for a wonderful All-Star game. We're live now in Shenzhen. Hope you're enjoying your game so far. And uh oh, Yuan Xinyue again. Yuan Xinyue, number 13, fans are speaking out loud her name. Yuan Xinyue and Sarah Ding Xiao, they are playing together in the national team, so they have very good combination between them. Then. And Yuan Xinyue is only 22 years old. A lot of fans are here today. Saved by Kim and Kim trying to spike. 
And Yuan Xu is nicknamed Wrong uh, Apple. Nicknamed Apple, Apple by the better fans because uh, her wrong face. Oh. Very popular player. So Very good counter attack. Yep. And do you feel like you're enjoying the game so much? Each player is smiling all the time. And they're from different teams from the Chinese Volleyball League. But here with very good collaboration, they're bringing a very, very interesting game here for our fans. Now serving again, Yuan Xinyue, star player from the national team. And now... And the winner of the serving contest this morning. Yep. Just made a mistake. Now Yuan will be off court. Number 13, Yuan Xinyue. Here is Mi Yang, 29 years old and uh, a setter yeah. for the Southern team. Mi Yang was playing for, for Shanghai in, the last se in this season, 27, 28. Winning runners up with Shanghai. Wong's the block by Wong Yuan Yuan. Wong Yuan, number 17. The North team. One point game again. Ding Xia will be serving for the North team. And Ding, Ding Xia is the top vote getter in this All Star game. Wow. All Star voting. So she is a great setter. <laughs> Scored again from the North team by blocking. It's a tie game now at 10. ten. Ding Xia serving again. The Chinese women's team is so popular in China maybe because they, they've won so many championships. Our teammates are dancing on the set line, yeah. cheering for Jing Xia. Northern team leading by one. So to our right side is the northern team, and to our left side, that's the southern team. Two points lead by North team. Fans are cheering for Ding Xia. Right, and uh, she did a lot of beautiful serves, and uh, now the Northern team has gaining points, leading by two so far. Great block. In a real Olympic game circle, Jenny Longping. See the men's star players are so cheering yeah, up and yeah. uh, on the set line. Before the real games, Jenny Longping tried a lot of setters um, for the for the national team, but uh, decided to take Ding Xia to the real games, and she really did a good job in helping China win the title. So, what position do you consider to be the most important? What position do you consider to be the most important position on the court for each team? Uh, I think King is doing a good job, but uh, for the Southern team, they're doing the teamwork. Okay. Yeah. Like right, the old, the old Yan Han and Yuan Xi Yue. So each time when a player scores, our fans are kind of cheering up for her and speaking her name loud. That's Li Yingying. Liu Yanhan serving. Wow. Southern team catching up with a beautiful spiking. 
Yang Zhen will be on the court number 12, replacing number 15. Northern team leading by two points, 14 to 12. Yeah, Zheng Yixin. Serve with a speed of 66 kilometers per hour. Zheng Yixin serving again for the southern team there. Saved by Liu Xiaotong. Wow. Tong Xiangyu. Tong Xiangyu, star player, and uh, she's also from the national team. Their timeout. That's the end of the third set. So it's actually the first set for the women's competition. It's like the men's team, tied at the and end again. of the first set. So remember, when during the men's competition, we also tied at the first set now, again, the women's competition is also set, uh, tied after the first set. Gong Xiangyu uh, is one of the players that um, emerged as stars in, in the last four years. So 14-14 by both teams. And that's the end of the first set here during the women's competition. So each set will last about 20 minutes. Players are really enjoying the All-Star game here, and I, I just said a little earlier that a lot of them are showing, you know, sweet smiles on their face and uh, enjoying. It's the second time China is hosting such kind of All-Star game, and, and also it's the first time we had the field contact this morning. Some of the players from today's uh, tonight's games are also were also in that competition. They were spiking, serving, and setting competitions. Very fun to watch. And uh, here now we're enjoying another great game um, from the All-Star Weekend. Highlights from the first set between the Northern Women's All-Star team and the Southern team. Fans are cheering for, team, for both teams, Northern team and Southern team. Here comes the final set. Yeah, the here. fourth set and the final set. Mm -hmm. Will be the second set for the women's competition. Wow. That's a Zheng Yixin, yeah, to the was, ball. Try, was trying to save the ball. <laughs> a lot of beautiful saves by both players. Actually, most of the players, uh, women's players playing here, are uh, attending the, the training camp of the Chinese national team. And because of the All-Star weekend, they got a break. Right. And then after uh, the All-Star weekend, All-Star game, they, they will go back to, to continue their training camp. And from May to July, they will play uh, the national leagues of FIVB national leagues. Fans are even singing for their star players. Now serving is Yang Zhou, 26 years old, from from the southern team. Gao Yi, that's Gao Yi, one of the rising stars of the national team. 
Gao Yi is a middle blocker, and, middle blocker. She, and uh, she starts to play for Beijing from this season. Li Yingying serving the ball from the northern team. Li Yingying is also another the promising player in Chinese yeah, volleyball. Yeah, the top scorer and the top spiker in the Chinese women's league. Team. Li Ying serving again, number one, uh, is 18 years old. And one meter That's 92. Jenny Long, Jenny Long, Long Ping, sitting, yeah. Watching the game. And uh, she looks a little serious over the, down there. Yeah, observing her players. Yeah. Who and, plays uh, better? Right, and who's going to be give, playing give for the next few game for yeah. China. And I think the players are trying their best yep. in front of Long Ping. It's really um, a great opportunity. Yeah, because in the training camp, they don't have that chance to, to display how hard they have trained. Tie again at, at 16. Team. No, number four, I think. Number five? Zhang Yichan. From Shanghai. Wow. Wow. Now, number eight will be on court for the northern team. Gong Xiangyu serving the ball. A quick shot by Gao Yi. That's Zhang Na. A three on the champion. Yeah, yeah, a few on the champion. You know, the, the Chinese women's team are a little wow. bit different from the Chinese men's team because the Chinese, uh, the women's team have very good, uh, some very good middle blockers. Well, the, the men's team, they like world-class middle blockers. Right. Uh, I think that, that's one of the reasons that the Chinese men's team can do as well as their women counterparts. Zhang Yichan serving the ball. Captain of Shanghai. Yep, and uh, from now for the southern team. The southern team is leading by two points so far. King's scoring again. Wow. I think she enjoys the game. She has a lot of communications with teammates and men's players. Very relaxed. I think a very good player is uh, must be um, mentally strong and yep. can handle all the pressure. That's uh, Zhang Ping, Zhang Na, and uh, yeah, and Xu Yunli, Wei Qiu Yue. 
uh, former Olympic champions from the Chinese women's team. And uh, they're also the judges for today's skills contest this morning. Yeah, winners from the 2004 Olympic Games and also from the Rio Games. Southern team gets another point. 21-18, three-point lead by the Southern team. Zhang Xiaoya is now serving for the Southern team, 26-year-old. Zhang Xiaoya is very popular among fans. Uh, Great block by the Southern team. The head coach for the Southern team. Li Ying was doing a great job in the Chinese League. Maybe uh, she needs some time to adapt to the All-Star game. Right, and she's only 22 years old. She's 18 year old. 18 year old, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even younger. Hu Mingyuan, beautiful play by Hu Mingyuan, number 11, from the Northern team. Kim is getting a lot of attention now on the court. Now Duan Fang, 24-year-old. From Liaoning. The northern team is catching up now, 22-20. Two-point lead by the southern team. Thumb up for your players. That's uh, from the embassy on the court. So the attack... Attacking points percent. Li Ying Ying. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Li was stopped again. Li Ying Ying, 18 year old player, a very promising a star player, and played for Tianjin. Tianjin was the champion in this season. And Li broke record of the most points won by a player in a single match in the, in the Chinese Volleyball League. The volleyball hit her. Yeah, Li Ying Ying, she scored 40. Five points in the in the match on uh, December 9th, 27. Now serving is Diao Lin Yu for the Southern team. Wow. That's Hu Mingyuan. Hu Mingyuan, a very quick spike. <laughs> so will Jenny Longping give Hu some chances yeah. for the national team? So I think it's 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 more um, the competition is even more fierce here for the women's side. Where if you want to get into the national team playing in big events, um, as we have a lot of promising players right now, yeah. especially after Rio and uh, and yeah, 2015, 2016 are a very good years for the Chinese women's volleyball team, and now we're even having bigger goals. And after Long Ping came back to the Chinese national team, she gave a lot of chances to the young players and sent different players to different competitions. That's Wang Yuanyuan. Wang Yuanyuan from Tianjin. Yeah. One point game. Oh, I think that's Zhang Lei. Yeah, Zhang Lei, a former Chinese international. Zhang Lei. Yeah. Kim is trying to um, interacting with the fans now yeah. and uh, saying, I cannot hear you, cannot hear you. Northern team is catching up, 23, 24, trailing by one point. Kim is uh, considered one of the richest player, rich, richest volleyball player in the world. Right. Wow. 
Beautiful block there by the Southern team. The teamwork by Zhang Lei and uh, Kim now will take a break. She tried her best. Yep. Liu Mengya will be on the court for the Southern team, replacing Kim. That's Liu Mengya, number 21, serving the ball now for the Southern team. to smile a lot. Yeah, she always smiles. Every each and every single time I see her on the screen and she's smiling and a very sweet smiles. Actually, it's not not easy for her. She um, she was one of the members of the Chinese uh, Chinese team winning the World Cup in 26 uh, 20, 2015, but mm -hmm. uh, she was she failed to make the lineup next year for the Olympic game. Wow. So it's a big hit for, for her, but she recovered well enough to, to play better. So and he got elected, elected to the All-Star game again. Now it's 25, tied 25, again. 25, 20, 25. That's Lin Li. Let's see how people are going to handle the... Wow. Smart play. That's very nice from the Northern team. Northern team. Number 12. Duan Fang. Duan Fang from Liaoning. They did a good job. Let's see the replay. Duan Fang quick spike there and helped her team win another point. And uh, now the Northern team is leading by one point, 26, 25. Yeah, and Liu Yan, how are you serving? Another Chen point. Lei blocked her former teammate from, from the national team, Zhang Lei. Northern team leading by two points, 27 to 25. Is one of the most important players that have Tianjin win their 11th title in the Chinese league. Yeah, and the game uh, was concluded uh, only uh, maybe two weeks ago. Yeah, uh, well, maybe one and a half weeks ago. So the men's team are now um, supporting the women's uh, all-star players uh, sitting on the sideline watching the full game. Now serving is Zhang Lei for uh, the Southern team. Decisive moment of the women's game. It's interesting to see that, you know, all the men's all-star players are lining up and watching yeah. uh, the women's competition going on. They're paying so much attention out there and supporting, cheering up for each player. And that's really the beautiful part of this all-star game, I think. I think all-star game is not only the game, but also the party. Uh, yeah, it's a party, it's fun time. Players, yeah. players get together, fans get together, and uh, a lot of uh, exciting events. We had the skills contest this morning. Now it's a four set All-Star game. Right now it's the final set. Each set lasts only for 20 minutes. And we're getting, I think, a few minutes away before the end 
of the final set now. Wang Yuan serving for the Northern team. <laughs> they pretend to protest to the referees <laughs> just for fun. They're not serious. <laughs> so Kim and her teammates are really enjoy the game. Yeah, they're getting relaxed, uh, being you know a little funny and joking uh, with fans. Very great atmosphere here at the All Star Night in Shenzhen. So, 30, 27, three point lead by the Northern team. That's Zhang wow, Yichan. Good too by Zhang Yichan. Great block, Yuan Xinyue, again, doing a great job. The ball is out, uh, and the, northern team, uh, the southern team got another point. So it's 31-27. It's yeah. Four-point lead. No, it's two-point game, I think. Uh, oh, yeah, two-point, sorry. Yeah. Zhang Yichai is still going again. 30-28. Another point for the Northern team. Zheng Chun is scoring one more point. Very hard for the Southern team. Zheng Chun Lei serving for the Northern team now. Um, we got three point lead. Yep. Li Jing pulled the, the southern team Li within a uh, 31 29 two point game. Li Jing is playing for Zhejiang. Yeah. And uh, he was in the national team. That's the southern team there, and uh, now serving is Zheng Yixin. You see the men's all-star players are all standing up there for standing the southern there. team. Wow, they seem to be quite enjoying the game so far. 20, 32, 29. I think that's the end of the final set. And the, the, the so game the northern the team. The northern team has won. players from the northern team are gathering on the court uh, from both the men's side and the women's side and uh, they did a great job uh, obviously for the women's side uh, with beautiful beautiful plays uh, and right after is, uh, I think, uh, it's good to see the, that the promoters arena won the game with three points. Oh. Now fans are trying to grab some gifts from... There will be a victory ceremony. So to our left is the northern team and to our right is the southern team. And I think this uh, All-Star game also sends a signal to the fans around the world. The Chinese League is getting more and more important in international, and we welcome players from around the world to play in the Chinese League. 
and also top players of, from China, uh, like Zhu Ting, is playing abroad. So um, this is the second year China is hosting a all-star game for the Chinese Volleyball League. And uh, um, as we said, this is the first year we're calling the Chinese Volleyball Super League. Super League. And we had a great season so far. And in the women's side, Tianjin, team from Tianjin, has won the championship. And after playing seven games. Yeah. And after this all-star game, the, the men's finals will go on. Yeah, the latest match will be on the 17th from the men's side. Um, we have a lot of star players, especially in the women's side, and Hui Roti, a great star, and she was guest hosting today. And we also have Kim from South Korea, an absolute star on the court, and uh, he ha she has a lot of fans now in China, and she's playing for Shanghai. And uh, Shanghai was the runner-up uh, in the season, and uh, um, after losing the, the game to Tianjin. Here are some of the highlights for today's games from the women's side. And uh, that's Ding Xia. Yeah. And now uh, this is the southern team. That's when the players were entering to the court. And uh, that's, that's Kim. Kim. Let's hope uh, Kim plays for a uh, place in the Chinese League. Next yeah, the very, at, at the opening show, when we were, was asking her, you know, what about another season? And will you, you know, continue a contract and uh, she said oh think about it and yeah, think about it yeah. see what's happened uh, next so it just shows how our fans are hoping that she can stay and play as longer i uh, think play. this uh, all-star game will give her confidence and uh for, for her to to come back again next year yeah but she did say in uh, quite a few interviews that she wanted to be uh, representing her national team in the in the next uh, olympic game in tokyo King was doing a great job in uh, leading her team to the fourth place in, in the London Games. And she was voted uh, most valuable players at that Games. And she did a great job today. Not yes, she did. She did a great job. Yeah, not only playing well for, uh, for herself, but also interacting with fans, with uh, the men's players. Yeah, and she has a way to, you know, getting close to fans and you're know, joking with them and, you know, being funny. And, uh, and not only for her, you know, for today, a lot of players just having fun and joining the game. Um, they're being a little dramatic and yeah. even the men's players are standing right, you know, out there and uh, standing up watching, giving full attention to the women's players playing. So it's really a great gathering yeah. as Chinese top volleyball players are here in Shenzhen and yeah. bring out such a fun event here at this uh, on this uh, All-Star Weekend. And today's game tells us that uh, sports and volleyball not only about winning and losing, but also about gathering, uh, having party, communicating and having fun. Yes, uh, personally, I never know how they're going to serve the ball, but today in the skills context this morning, we had the spiking competition where you have to spike the ball and place it, you know, hit three different boards on the court. That was really fun to watch. Yeah, and I, uh, I hope that in the future the fans can also have the chance to, to try the skills contest. Yeah, get, them, get themselves involved in the competition. Actually, the, in, in China, there are a lot of uh, volleyball fans, but most of the fans are, are watching volleyball from TV. Uh, not so many people really play volleyball. Right. Um, and also in, in, in schools. I think uh, with the going of the uh, All-Star Game and also some other interesting events, uh, a, volleyball events, right. more and more people will come to, to enjoy the game. And, mm -hmm. and as the league is really... Uh, uh, leveling up and trying to, you know, bring the games to another new level. I think we're 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 getting more fans going to the stadiums, watch games, uh, especially when the league is uh, it's play still playing. So um, we want to say Chinese volleyball is improving a lot, and uh, right after Rio and uh, a great year. Uh, we, we got the Olympic champion there with the Chinese women's team. Yeah, and this league has a history of 22 years, and I think they, they will keep going and uh, on the way to become one of the best leagues in the world. Along with that, we're going to bring, I think, more All-Star Games. Um, this is really the second year. There's still a lot of experiments and uh, fresh ways of uh, trying to get entertaining uh, for our fans. 
Um, we had a red carpet uh, ceremony uh, last night uh, when the uh, star players are arriving to the hotel. Uh, there are still a lot of fans waiting to see their their idol and uh, in the volleyball world. And, uh, and some of the players bring their, their families, the wives, to, to join the party, yep. to join the show. So here comes the victory ceremony and... Uh, I think everybody is champion. Yep, and uh, the northern team from the women's side has won. Fifty-six players are participating in this year's All-Star. And there are uh, top strikers, top setters in Chinese volleyball. A lot of uh, Olympic champions. Here comes the presentation. Now the city of Shenzhen is awarded for their contribution to this yeah. event. For their contribution to this year's All Star. Actually, Shenzhen is hosting the All Star weekend for the second consecutive year. Shenzhen is in southern China and uh, also very one of the biggest cities in China. Yep, and uh, top cities in China in terms of GDP. We're now live in Shenzhen Bao and Stadium. Yeah, the, the award was presented by Chinese Deputy, uh, Ch uh, Deputy President of Chinese Volleyball Association, Mr. Li Chuanqiang. Yeah, the facial from the Shenzhen government were, were, was getting the award for contribution. The most impressive player, Yuan Xinyue, also the winner of the serving contest this morning. And uh, she's considered to be the tallest Chinese women, Chinese women volleyball player. Yeah. Yuan Xinyue had a lot of great blocks today playing for the Northern team here at the All-Star Game. And she is one of the most important players in the Chinese national team right now. Her fans are holding some words saying we love Yuan. Uh, the most welcome international player. That goes to, of yes. course, Kim, 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 Kim. Kim Yun from South Korea. And uh, her first year here playing the Chinese League. And uh, Kim had a really good time tonight. Uh, a lot of smiles and uh, entertaining and getting funny. And uh, her fans are here for her. And you said earlier she is probably the richest player playing in the Chinese Women's yeah. League. Yeah, she's like a born star. Kim is the most welcome international player, and she is getting an award for that. I hope that China will have more and more good players and also good stars, stars like Kim. Uh, and the, the stars will help promote the school and development of the school in China. Jing Kui is getting an award. And Ding Hui and Yao Di won the, uh, the, the serving contest this morning also. He did a lot of great diving uh, saves. Yes, oh, a very good zebra roll. Yeah. Well, the most welcome female player, Ding Xia from Liaoning, will get the award. Ding Xia is also the top vote getter in, the all, in this year's All Star vote. Voting. Keep 
going, Ding Xia. The world's first pair of 3D printed shoes. Yeah, special design. There's also 10,000 yuan prize for Ding Xia. The most welcome player, Ji Dao Shuai, number eight from the northern team, and then he had a lot of spikes, a very good serve today for the northern team. Ji Dao Shuai is also a uh, Also, 10,000 yuan prize for Ji Dao Shui. So he's not he's not getting the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ji Dao Shui from Shandong. Chen Yuqian, yeah. Also, they have top of that uh, of Team Chen Jin. This will be the medal presentation for the champion teams. Chen Jin has really had a um, good tradition of volleyball. The Tianjin women's team has, has won 11 titles in the that's Chinese it. Volleyball League, yeah. And that's the all-star coach. That's the He also received the real award for the winning coach, for the women's winning coach. So the coach from the northern team, the winning coach, Li Mu. He moved from uh, he's coaching the northern men's team. And, uh, also, the head coach of Beijing, a senior official from the Chinese Volleyball Association, was pre presenting the award. Yeah. So, Li Mu is also the head coach for Beijing, and for Beijing, Beijing still playing in the finals, right? Yeah. Winning coach. So the well, northern team is the, the big winner tonight. Yeah. So with the victory, bring him good luck in the finals in the, to come. So Mr. Li Mu and Mr. Shen Chong, who was the coach of the uh, Southern Chinese team, will fight for the Chinese Volleyball League Championship in the next few days. So that's the award for being selected into the All-Star. 56 players and the four coaches. 
谢俊先生为获奖运动员及教练颁发证书，掌声。Star coaches, four of them, and 56 players. Yeah. the four coaches. Um, we have to thank them for bringing an exciting match. 56 players today um, for the All-Star game. We had two, uh, four sets, each set lasting for 20 minutes, and the Northern team is the big winner. And I think all the players that did uh, have tried their best. Yep. I did their best. You know, it's, it's not that serious, but they, they, they did try their best to bring a very Good game, but uh, they, they were relaxed, uh, very confident, and they're showing a lot of uh, sweet smiles from both sides. And the fans are getting fired up, and because some of the biggest stars in Chinese volleyball are here tonight. So each one of them will get an award for being selected into the All Star. It's the uh, second year. Yeah, and I think all the players will remem remember today. Right, I remember today in their career, right? here in Shenzhen. That's Zheng Chunlei and uh, the tallest one, Yuan Xinyue. This is the men's side and the northern team. We have uh, Jiang Chuan, Ji Dao Shui. Kim? It's also like a harvest time for all the players at the end See, of the season. She's trying to feel <laughs> it's a little heavy. How heavy wow, it is. Wow, all-star. So the Chinese words are all-star player. All-star player. That's what's being written on the um, award. So we have 14 teams uh, in both leagues, and uh, 46 players got selected into the all-star. All right. I'm looking forward to the next All-Star game next year. So what are you expecting, uh, what, what are you looking forward to see? I mean, the, the skills contest or the game? Um, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, more international players and uh, better skills and better performance, better performance in the skills contest. Yes, because this year the, the, the skills contest was first introduced. I think a lot of uh, players need to adapt to the yeah, to the contest. Yes. I think they will do better next year. I mean, I enjoyed watching this morning the skills contest, especially the spiking contest, and also the setting contest with very complicated rules. And, uh, but also, our, definitely a great game. We have so many fans are now here in the stadium rooting for their player. And uh, we got to see Yuan Xinyue, Gong Xiangyu, and uh, you know, some of the big stars in Chinese volleyball. And uh, even Hui Ruoqi is guest hosting for tonight's event. The champion rings. Wow. That's the northern team. We normally see that in an NBA Finals, right? Yep. She likes this a lot, I think. Uh, yeah. Very big ring. Well, Kimi needs to check that out. <laughs> Let me take a look. That's Ji Dao Shui. I think that's the first time we're having, we're presenting uh, championship rings yeah. to the All-Star players. Yeah, and, uh, So I think the All-Star game and also the Chinese League and uh, Volleyball League are really stepping up and, uh, you know, to another level. Uh, we want to involve a more global uh, viewership and also we want our players 
uh, to get more like other players from other countries, top players from other countries join our league. Uh, so as we mentioned earlier today, we, we saw Kevin Teeley from France, a big star, and we, we have Kim from South Korea. So as you said, we want more players to get involved in the Chinese league. They are just looking at the ring. Yeah. Giving it a lot of attention. The first time uh, players is uh, being presented with this championship ring. That's oh. Yuan Xinyue on screen. So every player has got something to take home. Right. <laughs> and uh, championship ring, that's really a great award. Uh, so now will be the photo time for all the all-star players. I saw that even some of the southern team players from the women's side are taking some of the rings just to, to have a photo. Yeah. It's a 2018 all-star. So we're live in Shenzhen uh, after four sets of um, exciting games. Yeah, exciting and tight games. Uh, we have four, four, 56 All Star players and from northern teams and southern teams. Some of the biggest names, the biggest stars here are here tonight. It's the All Star 2018 for the Chinese Volleyball Super League. And we hope that the league uh, can become better and better. And uh, the, we hope that the Chinese team, men, both men's team and women's team, can, can do a good job in, in the Tokyo Olympic Games. Yep, and the uh, uh, next uh, big game will be um, the World oh, Cup in Tokyo. Yeah. The, the, the next World Cup is going to be the, the next important game for the Chinese women's team will be the World Championship this year, uh, which will take place in Japan. So that will be a medal presentation ceremony. Some of them are going home tonight with the championship ring. This is the first time that championship rings are presented to the All-Star players. Okay. Oh, thank you so much for the fans around the world for staying, for staying with us. Thank you so much for watching. We we'll hope to see you next year. Yeah, see you next year.